And here at Embedded World 2019, hi. So who are you? I'm Hugo Feins from Electric M. And uh, what is this? So this here is uh, one of our customers' products. This is uh, NextGen, who have done this pharmaceutical container monitoring solution using uh, an intercellular board. And this one uses uh, an H753, SGM32 H753 processor. And um, uh, what do you do there? What is this? So this here, this, the electric imp is providing the secure connectivity. Uh, in this solution, it's monitoring uh, rotation rates and temperature and pressure of this uh, processing vessel here. Um, and the really great thing about this, they actually got their solution from original prototype to mass production in 10 weeks. 10 weeks? Yes. That's barely more than two months, right? Yeah, that's, that's pretty fast. And that's one of the things about building on a very mature platform uh, is that you really get to, uh, to leverage all the stuff we have. So the connectivity, secure connectivity, OTA update, all that is in place. Uh, all the drivers are done, everything, so you can just really concentrate on your application and the data you're, you're collecting. And you've been able to do this so far because you're a partner with ST or? Yeah, we've worked with ST. Actually, we, we, we're one of the earlier customers for the, the H7 series. Um, so we worked very closely with them at the beginning. And now we've done all the bring up, now we can enable a lot of other customers to start shipping uh, the H7 in volume by building on our platform. And let's, uh, let's look over here. Are there some of the other products you have? So uh, what, what is this, for example? So this is called the MP Explorer Kit. This is way, it's actually our original product that we made. Yeah. Um, this was uh, done, oh, so the, the, the actual product, this has an STM F205 and Wi-Fi in it. This one here is actually just reporting temperature and humidity to the cloud right now, which is why it flashes occasionally. And we have a few ST sensors on here as well. We've got ST MEM sensors, temperature, humidity, accelerometer, and air pressure. So is this part of something you were selling? Yeah, I mean, this one is, is kind of a way to, to, to Experiment with Electric Kim, understand how our system works. And it's like a $25 kit. Um, when did you start selling this? Oh, this one's been, I mean, awesome. the in card since 2012. Um, yeah. This Explorer kit has been available for a couple of years now. All right. And uh, what, is, what is here? So we have a, a few other imp, imp, uh, modules here, kind of targeting different things. This one here is the most popular one, actually the newest, even though it has a middle number. This is um, a, a Wi Fi module again, just Wi Fi, there's BLE. It has a STM32 F412 in it. So it's very, very good low power, low leakage, low sleep currents, um, and really pretty powerful. You know, it's, uh, we have a lot of customers doing uh, things like Bluetooth gateways with this, because a Bluetooth gateway is this and a power supply. There's, there's nothing else to do. Why, why do you work with the ST parts? So ST has you know, a really good product range. You know, we, we've gone up to the, the high end for, for our, our cellular module, and, and you know, this is uh, the module in other devices. On one yeah. side it has a radio, so on the other side it has a, an H753, embedded SIM and so on. Really, you know, we have customers doing very demanding applications. Um, and, and this one, you know, this with the, the, the memory and so on that we have on this, the high, the high capacity flash and the RAM, we can do things like this. This module will do concurrently Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth, and cellular. So you can do things like, things you previously would need a Linux machine to do. You can have, for example, you know, Wi-Fi connectivity with uh, cellular fallback without having to have all the, the, the overhead of, of, cellular, of uh, Linux solutions. And also, you know, the proper minus 40 plus 85 temperature range. You've got all the great things the H7 has, like ECC on RAM, the really truly industrial quality, and the speed is amazing as well. So, um, how, uh, what's the modem right here? This is a, a, a Gemalto. A Gemalto LTE Category 1 modem. So, so it's for NB-IoT or something else? No, or? no, this is LTE Category 1. So this is 10 megabit modem. A full modem. Full modem. It also has 3G and 2G fallback as well. So this is used by people who want higher bandwidth. We actually here have our newer product, which is uh, the IMC002. This one has the Quetel BG96. So that's a CATM, narrowband, and 2G. And for this one, we've paired it with uh, the STM F413. So this one is a lower data rate, lower performance, um, but you know, lower lower power as well. So a lot of people are using this for like tracking type applications. The the lower sleep currents and lower operational current of an F413 suits the, the the lower bandwidth modem. And so this one's this one's actually these are actually the first prototypes we've just had back. We have a non form factor boards. This is the first form factor ones. They arrived two days before Embedded World, so we we bought them along. Yeah, uh, you have a badge that says uh, auth, uh, partner with ST. Yeah. Does it speed up time to market, or what does it do? Um, I mean, partnering with ST is great. I mean, the products are great. Uh, I've said before, you know, they're very well documented, um, uh, and, and the support we get is, is good as well. You know, when we find something unexpected, 
uh, ST really you know, dive in and, and, and help us, uh, unblock us. And you have a, a, what's the software that runs? You say you don't need to fill Linux to do all these different no, current... This, uh, 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 these, these type of things, yeah. There's connections? So, so we run our own OS, it's called ImpOS. It's a small tickless RTOS. Um, it has a very small RAM footprint, which means it actually runs on everything from, you know, our original product was an F205 with 128K of RAM. So actually our OS will do everything. So we have uh, the OS, all the stacks and so on overhead, TCP, TLS, all the buffers and VM. Um, sort of 40, 45k of RAM, so very, very small, so it'll work on many, many devices. Um, but it allows customers to develop in a high-level language. Um, they develop in a high-level scripting language, which is called Squirrel. It looks a bit like JavaScript. Um, when we started, you know, embedded JavaScript wasn't really available, so we used something called Squirrel. Um, this demo here, we're actually showing, we, we showed it last year as well, but it was the Wi-Fi was so bad it didn't work. Okay. Um, here we're actually showing a, a way of updating. We have a Nucleo board here with an F413, and uh, the int module here. So the int module is providing connectivity to the, the nuclear board, but also it's providing a fail-safe OTA upgrade. Yeah. So what will happen here, I can show you on the screen, this is actually an Azure, um, this is all running on, on a Azure IoT cloud. Um, I can change the firmware version running on, this, on, the, on the nuclear board. Um, I can change it by updating the device, um, I think it's device twin in Azure. So you have to, I'll click this, but look over here because it's very quick. Um, so this is same showing version one. When I change the version, this device is going to fetch a new one from GitHub. Okay, it's not being quick now. Um, here we go, it's raising the flash. It's downloading the image from GitHub and it's already reflashed it to the device. So that is using um, the DFU mode built in here. We also can do it via SWD. So we're actually using the Electricum system to talk to the Azure IoT system, look for changes to the firmware version. So if I want to upgrade my MCUs in the field, change the firmware version in Azure, uh, the IMP platform will pull down the new firmware image from a GitHub here, chunk it, send it down to the device, and then turn it into our device, which will then do DFU and update the MCU in the system. So this is actually kind of good. It allows you to keep have an OS, a fail-safe OS updating a device without changing any of your code. Is it's this actually, all available, this? Yeah, this is an example design. You're selling this code. and this? Um, I mean, this board is actually a demo board. We can give people the Gerbers for it, but there's, there's nothing Particularly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a UART connection. And more that we can provide people the example software. We have actually this is a development board that ST is selling, right? Yeah, this is just uh, a nuclear board. But how do you put this in there? Well, I mean, you have to, it, it, it has it, to be... It, it, well, in your own system, you'd have this on the main same board as this, or maybe an expansion board, and you'd connect the wires. Do you help people to develop this? Absolutely, system? yeah. Yeah, we provide, you know, uh, on all our stuff, we provide open source software uh, for the applications. Uh, we provide... You know, uh, all our reference designs and hardware, you can download the original source files for CAD from our website. Um, you know, we make it as easy as possible to, to get started with this stuff.